I've reached this point in my life where the strong, independent woman phase is dying down, like slowly dying down, like I'm tired. Me, I'm tired. And I've reached this point in my life where I have to really listen to myself. I have to listen to my body and my mental health is more important than trying to do it all on my own. And it's, it's a lot, you know, like trying to do this on your own is a lot, especially after. And I literally just don't have the time and the mental capacity anymore to continue trying to live about this image of being a strong, independent woman. I am not. I am a damsel in distress. I need help. Save me. Please. I truly cannot catch a fucking break. Look at this. If you, if you are a lot luckier than I am, let me explain to you that that is a critical engine fucking failure. For the second time in the two and a half years that I've had this piece of shit Kia Soul. This is a brand new engine, maybe 30,000 miles on it, with the exact same defect as the last one. Last time they, this happened, they had to import the engine, and it took damn near two months for me to get my fucking car back wasn't as big of a deal then because I had somewhere to live at the time. I do not know. I am in here. And and if this happens again, if it takes them this long to replace the engine again, then that's it. That's it. I'm not. I can't work. So I'm not going to be able to keep up with my payments. I'm not going to be able to do anything. And I'm not going to be able to start over because losing this car is going to ruin my credit so fucking much that the only way that I'll be able to buy a car again is with cash, which is not an amount of money that I will ever be able to get because I can't work. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh, my God. I just want to know what I did to deserve this life. Like, what God did I piss off? Seriously. Okay. I can't. Ladies, the strong black woman narrative is a scam. Wake up. I had a good run. I did everything the society told me to do. I worked really hard. I damn near broke my back. I paid all my bills. I put everybody else first. I told men I was independent. I refused to accept gifts and help. I said I was strong. I did it and I did it to say that I won nothing from it. I literally did not win any special awards. My life has not changed drastically. So now I'm going to reclaim my time, okay? When you see me now, know that I'm a soft Babe, soft like babe, you get it? I'm not Annie, I'm not Jay-Z. This is not a hard knock. That's not my life, okay? And when you see me now, you address me as such, okay? I want to be able to look at me and say, wow, this babe is soft. Wow, this babe likes enjoyment. Wow, this babe has not walked a day in her life. That's what I want you to see me as, okay? And when you see me next, address me as chief executive, commander in chief of soft like babes. Good day. This video shows the struggle a lot of women are facing because they decided to do it all by themselves. They are regretting it. I hope these women will have the courage to give this information to the younger generation. They should tell them that this strong and independent lifestyle just makes life harder for women. But I bet that most of them will tell their daughter to do the same, to be strong and independent. You don't need a man. I just don't know why they do this. Most women are told to become this strong and independent by their mothers, which is a mistake. A feminine woman is a lucky woman. She will have a soft life. She will live a better life than a strong and independent woman. Now we are going to read the most interesting comments of this video. This is really sad. Older women have failed them. The lies they told them are now destroying them. I just hope they are honest enough to tell the next generation of young ladies the truth. Sorry sis, but the main part of being independent is doing everything yourself. If you don't know how, you find out. But you want to be independent on your terms. So you get what you get. We are meant to be together to help each other. Like Chris Rock said, two people can move a couch much easier. This should be titled Problems Easily Solved by Having a Man in Your Life. Women have no clue how hard life is for men. They literally have the choice of playing this game on easy mode. Men do not. But by all means be on your own. To the Western women out there, you strong and independent, you got this. As for me, I'm done with you entitled. Happy Valentine's Day. 
In the words of James Brown, it's a man's world. Welcome to our world. Full of challenges, struggles, having to constantly prove yourself, getting screwed over, making sure you're not getting robbed, and so on. And you thought you'd only get to pick the cherry on top. Good luck, you are strong and independent. Could you imagine a bunch of men going online and crying because we can't handle our own life issues? We can write a 600-page book on these women. This would be a great lesson for young preteen girls to see their future if they take the course in life these women did. I'm glad I'm a man, life is the fire, and that ish has and continues to forge me to be the best version of myself. If life hands me lemons, I make lemon cake, my own Sprite, face wash, deodorant and degreaser from lemons because as a man we wake up fighting every day and make no excuses, we keep pushing towards our goals to finally sit back one day and breathe. This is what strong and independent gets you, don't cry when you get what you asked for. Men wouldn't know what this is called. Acceptance. Good luck. One of my favorite sayings is cross the bridge when you get there. The Kia woman doesn't even know why the engine light came on. It could be something very simple, but in her head she's already played out the worst case scenario. I see something very common in all these women, they overreact, and instead of figuring out the best solution or coming up with a plan to fix the problem, they break down. Being independent has its limits and failures. Now some modern women starting to understand and realize what it means to be out there, I mean alone. Well, women don't change or complain now. I am glad to see that many women are waking up to this. This is something that is damaging our family structure. I hope that more women will view it the same way as this girl. The other problem is that most of them realize that this is a scam when they are close to the wall or at the wall. At that stage, they are already tired and with fewer options to find a man to take care of them. Therefore, most of them will have to stay strong and independent because they don't have other options. So the earlier a woman knows about this, the better for her. I am really happy to see that you guys like the content. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. It will motivate me to do more videos for our community. Let's read the most interesting comments of this video. Happy to see that we are all waking up to this and actively doing what we want to do. I stopped saying strong independent when I noticed women from other cultures weren't joining in and saw how they were living. I think you're the last to know it's a scam. When my mother taught me to be independent, it was never to be working hard and strong. She taught keep that secret account and take not manish who can't do a damn thing for you. Always be able to live on your terms and never leave a situation worse than when you came in. Like if a man helping you, help yourself be productive. What y'all learn? Yep, I made a TikTok about this, saying I prefer resting in my femininity and gender roles. I don't subscribe to this strong woman title. Nope. It definitely hits different. Sister, stay strong and independent. What is a soft girl era? I'm genuinely asking because I really don't know. I've been a hyper-independent woman all my life, and I'm not sure if I even have the capability to even be a soft girl anymore. When I hear soft girl, my brain translates it to codependency, and I know that's not what it means. So I need a little help understanding what exactly it means to be a soft girl. I'm truly not throwing shade or anything, just need some clarification. So glad I never gave in to this strong independent. I'm a soft baby girl for life. I don't want to be strong. I need a man, my man. Thank God I'm married. Yup. Rest is feminine energy. I'm glad I've never been about the whole independent woman thing in my young life. Even the soft life team is a scam. You still spend hard-earned money. The real flex is taking care of babes. Your man's woman, your husband's wife. Fully fended for. Thank you for watching today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell for more like-minded videos. Have a good day.